Hey, how's it going all you most amazing top teners? I'm Landon Dallasing and I'm your host for this video. Before we get into this video, I want to let you guys know we have some pretty awesome merch available in our shop. The link for it is in the description below. Head over to mostamazingshop.com. Pick up your merch today. Okay, so tattoos can be great. They're creative, some have a really cool background stories, and some are inspiring. Well, then there are other tattoos that are just awful and horrible. So, you know what? Let's take a look at the top 10 worst tattoos ever, part 5. If you missed part 4, you guys are absolutely crazy, but I'll catch you guys up. Click right over here. You guys can get caught up on part four. So starting off this list, number 10, we have this guy. Yep, his whole tattoo is centered around his nipple. Why does this guy have a nipple of an eye? This could have been a decent tattoo. I mean, the quality is actually pretty good, but maybe the tattoo artist messed up and realized that at the end, the nipple actually got in the way. Yeah, I doubt it too. I think this guy purposely wanted a man with the nipple eye. Next up, number nine, we have the man who loves ice. No, seriously, take a look at all his tattoos. His name should be Mr. Cool Ice. I have many regrets in life. That's his full name. All of his tattoos are terrible. I mean, look at his thick writing on his arm. He committed so hard. What if he no longer enjoys ice when he gets older? He should go all out and get ice tattoo on his forehead as well. The receding hairline creeps into number eight on our list. Okay, this is just the worst idea on planet Earth. There's a really harsh line that makes this tattoo look a thousand times worse. I'm starting to think that maybe he just has a large forehead and wanted to cover it up with the tattoo. But I mean, this isn't the way to go about about it. Look at his face. He's tired of explaining the reasoning behind his tattoo, so let's move on. Number seven takes us up to heaven. Okay, not really. Look at this thing, though. There is so much wrong with this tattoo. That's not how you spell angel. I don't understand how there are typos in tattoos. Like, tattoo artists, take your time. Take out your phone, whip out Google, and find out the spelling. Or if you're a bad speller, ask anyone else in the shop. Hey, do you know how to spell angel? The, you know, the five-letter words that uh, I should have learned in grade five? It's not like this person wanted super calilistic expialidocious written as a tattoo on her body. And I'm pretty sure I even said the word wrong. Super calilistic expialid. Am I missing uh, the middle part? I'm laughing. Let's move on to number six. We have this psycho tattoo. Well, I think it's safe to say this guy will never get a job ever again. He has the face of an instant regret. Did he lose a bet or something? What's going on here? Does he just want people to leave him alone? I like that he picked a creative font, but the tattoo artist was probably crapping himself the entire time. From psycho to idiotic, and at number five, we have this nonsense. Trust, no one, yeah. Especially a shady tattoo artist. I mean, she has no one to blame but herself, because because she should have double checked with the tattoo artist if everything is spelled correctly. Trust known. This mistake makes me not want to get a tattoo. Alright, number four, we have another stupid tattoo. No, literally, his tattoo says stupid. So I guess this guy and the other psycho guy are both unemployed for the rest of their lives. They should become best friends. I mean, they probably got their tattoos done by the same artist. This is just so wrong on too many different levels. And now at number three, we have a guy who is probably going to be a virgin for the rest of his life. Don't believe me? Take a look at this horrible idea. Yeah, I don't think anyone who would be impressed by this tattoo. It doesn't really show us that you are a mature guy. I think he's going to be single forever. The cat's out of the bag and at number two, and oh man, take a look at this awful tattoo. I mean, he even had the tattoo artist shade in his belly button to look dirty. Is this real life right now? What is going on? Well, I kind of hope it's shading and it's not actually like dirt, because that would be more disgusting. This cat looks and I don't blame him. He probably has to wear his shirt when he swims, unless he's proud of this awful tattoo. I mean, does he show it off? Like, guys, look at my tattoo. Boom. Ah! Alright, this proud girl comes in at number one. When I say she's proud, I mean she's really proud. Take a look at her tattoo. Her whole back is a shrine for her, um, her lady bits, her lady parts. This is so weird. Is this some sort of advertisement? Does this even work? Is it to scale? And, uh, I'm, I'm done with all the questions on this one. Anyways, guys, this is the end of this video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys all in the next one. <laughs>